Hello guys, so welcome to 16 Bitchum. Sorry I didn't make a video last week, but uh, yeah, I was just kind of too busy. But these last two weeks at the bins have been insane toys wise. I found a shitload of SS parts, accessories, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it in English. Parts for Toxic Crusaders, uh, Ghostbusters, um, Thundercats, what else, James Bond Jr. Um, yeah, it's been insane. Um, and the only reason I can think of that all this appeared at the same time is because somebody just donated like a, a huge bunch of stuff at one time. And I'll tell you how our bins work. You have five regular stores and those five stores, they actually get in donations and they put in on their shelves what they think will sell and what they don't think will sell, they'll send to a place called Kilomate. And there you have a section toys, books, multimedia, so DVDs, games, and a section housewares. Toys is by far the biggest and it gets recycled two times a week. So one time the left side, the other time the right side. If it doesn't sell in that week, it gets just tossed out. What I've noticed, um, I start, started going there after a friend of mine uh, actually got me a very cool uh, mini um, techno drone from TMNT in the box. Like it was insane, it was complete. Uh, so somebody decided at the sorting center in the store, like, hey, this is worthless, throw it out. But I noticed the first time I went there, I found like a a uh, big bunch of um, Motu uh, He-Man accessories, parts, weapons. And I've noticed a theme that like, I've even found a figure at the thrift store. And then I found the same accessories at the bin like in the same week. So I, I try to uh, like get to know the system, um, how the, the accessories end up at the bins and the figures at the store. What are the exact dates you need to go? So I found, oh, <clears throat> sorry, I found a big bunch of accessories and parts last week and this week, but I, I, I spent my entire um, lunch break on Monday and an extra hour of holiday going to all five stores and I didn't find a single cool figure. So I'm still super stressed out actually that I don't find these figures, it's insane. For example, I will give you an example. On Monday, uh, when I went to the bins, I found this Optimal Optimus, uh, oops, which is like a Beast Wars figure from 1997. I only paid a euro for it, which is nice. And then, um, Friday at the bins in the brand new stock from that day I found because normally there are several of these parts and I found one extra so I'll put it on him right now whoops it's actually not I think I'm gonna trade this away because it's not really a transformer you can like change the appearance but it doesn't really transform into like a vehicle so I'm not I'm not really digging this, so this is available for trade if anybody wants it. So I'm not going to do this in any particular order because to be honest, I don't even know the order anymore uh, in which I found this. So last Friday I found, not this Friday, but the week before I found an awesome lot of Ghostbusters accessories. I will show you, it's an entire bag. I will show you the cool pieces. These figures are my own figures, which I already had. So this is one of those monsters. Oh, and it's the other side. So he spins around and I think normally this needs to spin around as well, but that figure does not. I think this figure goes with Venkman. But as you can see, I got this entire bag. Uh, all the cool little like, uh, uh, sidekick figures like this one goes here wink wink Roop. and yeah I got a lot of, I got 20, 20 different 20 different of these figures I already completed some of my own figures which was pretty cool 
Uh, I also have most, if I have the figure, I mostly have the correct uh, weapon with it, so that's also pretty sweet. This one, I believe, goes to an ecto, like to the car. Uh, this one is uh, Toxic Crusaders from the Evil Baron. Uh, these are James Bond Jr. various figures. And I believe this is this is definitely T TMNT, and this is TMNT as well, F Fugitoid. Uh, I think this is TMNT, also Fugitoid. But for example, last Friday I found this figure, which goes to the Ecto Bomber, and this Friday I found, <laughs> sadly, a part. I did find also the, the separate wheel, but I didn't find a wing yet. And I found this figure this Friday, and this figure actually belongs to the to the Ecto Bomber. So, I don't know, one Friday, a week later, I find this. How does it work? I don't know, it's driving me crazy. And I, I really start to notice that actually in Belgium, or at least here in Antwerp, not a lot of people seem to be interested in these vintage toys. I mean, I see people, they're definitely resellers going there and uh, buying up stuff, but they're not buying up the kind of stuff I want. They buy like uh, Fisher Price or wooden toys, like quality children's toys. I think they just resell it or maybe they do something with schools that they need the toys for. <laughs> From the Go Casper movie, I found this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is it, is it a doll? It's like it looks like a sperm to me, but I thought it was pretty funny. This one goes to my son. I also found a lot of uh, McDonald toys, which I adore. Uh, those from the early early nineties. This one of those Transformers. I found another Transformers fry a couple of weeks ago, but. Uh, this one, I think it's supposed to be like a dinosaur or something, I don't know. I, this week I found like the dragon or dinosaur in a <laughs> soda, in a soda, um, soda drink. So yeah, this one is also sweet. I'll show you the picture I took for Instagram that you can have a nice view of all the of all my McDonald's figures that I bought this week and last week. Uh, TIE Fighter wings to the Power of the Force TIE Fighter. Yeah, I don't know. It's bizarre because mostly you find the main piece and not the wings because they can pop out. But yeah, pretty cool to have. If I ever find the TIE Fighter, I will definitely pick it up. Uh, the wings to the main character from Gargoyles, a bit of shame. It had some like, I don't know, like spillage of something which destroyed that wing. I also found his tail. So, yeah, somewhere in a thrift store, there must have been a figure and I got the wing and the tail. It's insane. Also, very, 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 very sad. Exploding Beetlejuice. But no face. I found a... So if anybody has a spare face and want to trade something... Yeah, I, I got a lot of... This is from Batman. This is from Baxter Stockman. Um, this is actually from uh, Dino... Dino Riders. Dragon Flyers. Uh, piece of the turtle copter, another piece for um, Batman Jr. Uh, Batman, James Bond Jr. A lot of stuff, a lot of turtles, weapons. So yeah, I mean, I got more like this Batman top part. I try to separate the weapons in, in things I know and things I don't know. This one is also pretty sweet. It's a, a batch from the, I think the first Batman movie. 
gonna put that on my vest. For example, these bags, these are all unknowns to me. Uh, thanks a lot, by the way, to the Action Figure Identification Facebook group, because they helped me out with a lot of this stuff uh, to identify. Um, so check, I will put a link down below, check out that group. Now this Friday, I, I keep saying Friday, 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 I found a mother load of toys. It, it started when I came in and the lady who's at the register, she's kind of a nerd too. And she said, I got some stuff for you, man. And I said like, what? And in the past she has shown me like two modern transforms. I'm not really interested in those, but today she saw me the Bear Bill uh, Bird, I think, and Bear Bill, I, I forgot her name, but two of the bears from Thundercats. And then later on I found a Wily Cat and Wily Kid. And then even later on, in the uh, well, she found these for me. Sorry, I found their hoverboards for both of them. Yay! And I found the gun from one of the uh, the one with the <laughs> I don't remember his name, the walrus, I guess. So yeah, and then later on in the parts back. Uh, in between the parts, I found an insane figure. Driller, sadly, he's missing one of his pieces. So by the time you see this, I'm gonna go back and see if I can, can find it somewhere in those bins because this, I didn't know this. I actually didn't even know the character, but it's a super expensive figure. On eBay, it goes like between 400 and 700. So. Mine does have some uh, playware, but overall it's it's looking pretty 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 good. I think if I can find that third last piece, I might I might be tempted to sell him. To be honest, I mean, if somebody gives me seven hundred euros for that, why not? I also found uh, the. Fortress for the Thundercats, but uh, it's like the mini playset version. Don't have any figures for it. I also found the version 2 of for, for the His Cat. Pretty complete. The only sad part is the this side of the... Um, has broken off clips, so it won't stay in there. I might have one loose of these. I think I have similar. Otherwise, I'll just glue it on. Otherwise, it's in pretty pretty decent nick, and it's actually a, a, a vehicle I think is quite cool. Of course, missing boats, side missiles, but it's even possible I have them somewhere in my own collection. Uh, yeah, Dragon Zord, I don't know, it's a Power Rangers Zord, but I don't know which one it is actually. I think it's also missing something. At least it's not really transformable, so I I think it's kind of weird. <laughs> El Aladdin's carpet, <laughs> pretty sweet. Uh, this one I found while I was trying to uh, find the other um, the figures in their actual thrift store, so not at the pins. It's I think it's something from either Power Rangers or um, Kamen Rider. I think it's more. It looks more Kamen Rider. It's Bandai 1997. So. Somebody can help me out with this. It was 20 cents, so pretty awesome. Uh, these are Power Rangers. These are more recent, Burger King uh, 2018. These are the classic Rangers, so I don't know why they... Do children re-watch this now? I don't know. And one Gormiti, which will go in my um, gumball machine, of course. Another very cool one, which I've been wanting since childhood, is from the Ghostbusters, the monster toilet. Man, I love it. And on Friday, I, I this is a sad story. Before I started collecting toys, I left this in a thrift store, boxed. I don't know if it was brand new, I didn't even touch the box, but <laughs> insane it, I just left it there, but I found it again at the bin, so this only cost me like five cents. It looks pretty complete. 
maybe there's a part missing here because there's some holes here. I don't know for sure. Uh, I found this part later on, so awesome for me. Um, yeah, I hope because I actually don't have any my balls, so I hope to find at least two so I can put them in this motor. I love this so guys. Crazy 90s styles vehicles. And here is a Captain Planet. Uh, Captain Planet vehicle. Sadly missing of course the the glass sh uh, top. And it, but the, everything else seems to be working. I have some Captain Planet figures, so I'll put one in and put this one on the shelf. Actually, kind of like the design, it's pretty cool. And I'm super happy with this one. I never knew about um, Bucky O'Hare as a kid, but in the meantime, I've grown to love it. It's uh, The cartoon is actually one of the more watchable cartoons from that period. TMNT is also very watchable, but a lot of the older ones are, if you watch them now as an adult, not that great. Um, this is the Toad Croaker. Um, missing one gun and I don't know if there's supposed to be an action with this part but I'm just gonna put it on the shelf with Bucky and I have Willy DeWitt the Billy DeWitt or Willy DeWitt I have two figures so I'll put them on there and it will look nice on the shelf I love Bucky O'Hare I just love him yeah I found yeah <laughs> it's insane what I found man um, my biker mice from Mars. Um, I think this is a back part to a uh, Ecto car from the. Ooh, so he's waxing. Sorry, guys. Oh, really tired here. Sorry. Um, from the crash dummies. Uh, like it's it's insane to put the baby in. It has a broken up part here, but somebody glued it on. I guess. Insane, but still cool. Another crash dummy part is a, a rooftop. I also found the wheel, and guess what? My yellow cat was missing one wheel, so that's awesome. Uh, from the turtles, the sidecar. Also from the turtles, from the samurai Donatello, I don't remember exactly which version uh, this is all um, Toxic Crusaders so so awesome to find rifles for the Toxic Crusaders it's not, you don't really find that here in Belgium this is also Toxic Crusaders this I guess as well it's like a super soaker with with radioactive waste this is the second wheel for that uh, Ecto, I don't know if it's broken enough or I think the wing just clicks in there. Oh, I hope I still find the wing. That would be so great. This one I'm not sure, but I think it's a helmet for um, Toad from Bucky O'Hare. Snake, don't know what, what that is from. I think this is also Ghostbusters. Yeah, I just, I mean, these missiles seems like turtles. I'm not sure. This thing, I'm also not sure, but I, it, it does look familiar to me. Yeah, and a crazy amount of like the regular brown uh, turtle weapons. Hmm. These are also a launchers from something, but I don't know what they're from. Uh, the top part for um, Thunderbirds um, castle. Well, Thunderbirds, not a castle, <laughs> terrace, roof terrace. I found, this is crazy. I found this part two times, once in blue and once in brown. So that person must have had two Baxter Stockmans because it, Baxter Stockman can come with either variation, I believe. Ah, Memra's uh, headpiece. Pretty awesome because you always find bold Memra's, of course. 
Uh, this one is also from the Turtles, the crap, I don't exactly know which figure. Turtles, Turtles. Um, turtles, <laughs> don't know which vehicle that's from. This one is from the Bat, uh, one of his two wings. Uh, pizza from the Pizza Thrower. Mighty Max. Uh, from one of the play sets. I do have them in my play sets. A purple Turtle Shield. I don't know which set exactly this is from. In that color. But it's from the Turtles, alright. Um, this one is also pretty sweet. Turly Gang knockoff figure shield. I don't know which which figures this is from. Uh, several Pokemon. Caterpie. Caterpillar. Whoops, one of those Pokemon. This will also go in my Gunball machine, of course. Damn, Damn guys. Damn. This is also from. Uh, same guy has the plunger, the little rat on a stick. This is all, I think this is also turtles, not sure. I, mean, I got a, I got a shit on the turtle weapons, guys. Sure that. Oops, drop one. Like more of those brown standard turtle weapons. I like those. Makes me happy I can complete figures. This one's also pretty cool. A very small uh, Mighty Max toy from uh, Quick, which is a Belgian uh, a Belgian um, hamburger place. I don't know if they sold it also in different countries because it's stickered, so maybe in a different country it would be given in a different uh, hamburger place. This, I don't know which, which this, but, but I, it looks very much like Turtles, so I took it. Also Mighty Max from that black and red lava set. Uh, a bug, pretty sweet. Uh, bats from uh, G.I. Joe, but completely beat up, of course. I will keep him for parts. An ooze uh, uh, cantina. I don't know, this also looked very familiar, but I don't know which city it is from. <laughs> it's insane. This stick, pink pink turtle stick. Don't know which this that is from. Power Rangers. Batman, I assume. <laughs> Are you bored yet? Yeah, this one was also pretty sweet. Still on the in the packaging. Two ninja stars. Too lazy to take it out. And some more undescript weapons, which I will ask on the internet. Uh, did I show you guys everything? This is this is gonna be a super long video. Well, I forgot to show you guys the video games. So for 5 euros I found this 360 controller uh, wired, I picked it up because it was wired and but it was missing this part so I ordered it online for 3 euros and it came like 2 days later so nice. This I actually don't know what it is from, which series, if anybody can help me that would be appreciated. It has the same coloring as this so I assume it's from... I really don't know what this is from. Probably can put the launcher there. Yep. Mm, and I have another launcher right here. Yep. So it's probably like this. If anybody knows which series this is from, please let me know. It looks familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Probably I should check all these loud because I got a lot of launchers. This one says Fang 2. Fang 2. So 
So probably I can make a lot of sets complete already, but I just need to know what the launches are from. So video game wise, <coughs> um, I don't know if I showed these off already, but picked up Fallout uh, New Vegas because it was the ultimate edition. I only had the regular version. Apparently this one is also quite expensive. Uh, Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles. I have a lot of these Naruto games. But this seems to be more of an adventure game, so pretty nice. Taz. I must, have, I must have skipped over this game like a million times, but today I decided to pick it up. Two euros. Uh, another Naruto game, Ultimate Ninjas, but this time for the PSP. Uh, this game came from my buddy David, he has a store, retrovolt.be, 12 euros, which, well, it seems like a good deal. Um, Musashi Samurai Legend, 1 euro from the Tift store, the original Nightmare on Elm Street, Woo, with Halloween coming up. This one is to flip, I'm a race of scumbag, uh, Wii Sports Resort. I will have to check because my, I, it's possible that my copy is, yeah, this disc is practically pristine. I have to check my copy first and do the old switcheroo. Then Tekken 4, sorry, which I actually picked up because it had the manual to Ghost Hunter inside and my copy of Ghost Hunter doesn't have a manual, so if anybody wants to beat up copy of Tekken 4 without the manual, please let me know. Um, this one also comes from Retro Vault, 45 euros, Lapricelle Tactics, 2, 2D RPG, uh, tactical RPG, so not my favorite genre, but I'm trying to get into it, you know, like the, the more slower game that I can, yeah, just play. And I remember Edge, Edge Magazine reviewing this and giving it a thumbs up, so yeah, I'm interested. And then this one I just picked up because I was in a store and I drove like uh, half an hour to get there to hopefully find those um, <laughs> missing uh, figures which go to all these accessories and vehicles that I found, but alas. And so I just picked up this game. Luckily she charged me only two euros because there are two discs inside and normally then they charge you four euros and I'm not willing to do that for a live arcade disc. So yeah, we're rambling on the first 27 minutes here so I, most people will have fallen asleep by now but please uh, subscribe if you're new and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Sorry I didn't took any footage inside the stores, but as you can see, I, I was just like, whoa, 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 what is this, what is this? I need everything. So yeah, it was quite overwhelming, everything there. So that's why I'm a bit, uh, I didn't, like last episode was almost all in-store footage and this is no in-store footage. <laughs> yeah, I forgot, so picked up a part of a Lego box. And two of these, if anybody knows who they are, like gargoyles, they come with these little books. They look cool, but they have no marking whatsoever. So probably, I thought it might have been gargoyles, but I'm not sure, but they're cool. So catch you guys later. This is actually two weeks into one. Hmm, that was disappointing. But I hope you guys enjoy and uh, don't forget, watch out for your toilets. <laughs>